Hey, this is Matt. Welcome to the whiteboard. In the last video, we visualized binary search. Now, we'll code it. Binary search takes a sorted array and keeps throwing away the irrelevant half until it converges on a single item. In pseudocode, pick middle item. If item value equals search value, return item. If greater, repeat with greater items. If lesser, repeat with lesser items. Before writing code for this, first we need to know, what are the lesser items and greater items? Are we talking about subarrays? Will we continually slice out new arrays? There's a better way. Let's just use array indices to bracket relevant items. The first relevant item will supply the start index, and the last element item will supply the stop index. These indices will change at each step. So for example, if we throw away the greater items in this array, the relevant indices are these. And if we throw away the lesser items, these become the relevant indices. OK, let's code a binary search function. It takes an array to be searched and init local variables for the start index and for the stop index, which is, at least at first, the index of the last item in the array. Now let's code the core logic. First, we need to pick a pivot. That's easy. Find the midpoint between stop and start, then round down if necessary. In this case, the midpoint between 0 and 9 is 4. Now, what about the midpoint between 4 and 9? 6. We have a pivot. Now, let's check for a match. First, we need some search parameters. The key is the property that objects in the array are sorted on, often a property like ID. The search value, on the other hand, is the value we've been searching for, like ID equals 23. When we grab the pivot item in the middle, we can use the key to extract the value in it. Now let's do something with these variables. Basically, we'll check for a match, and if there is none, we'll change stop and start indices and repeat the process. Here's the check. If there's no match returned, see if the pivot's value is bigger than the search value. If it is, you know the search term will be here. So the new stop index will be the pivot index minus 1. If the pivot value is smaller than the search value, we look to the right of the pivot index. So the new start index is the pivot index plus 1. Once we have new start and stop indices, what next? We have to repeat this code. So let's put it inside a while loop. This loop will continue until start and stop pass each other, at which point you can call off the search because you can't stop before you even start. So for every loop, we'll make sure stop is not less than start. If it is less, then we'll return null. And that is binary search, just a few lines of code that pack a lot of power. 